it's Allie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here on a video on how to take the perfect selfie. You try to get one good selfie to post on Instagram and you end up with a hundred ugly pictures. Yeah, I have that problem all the time. That's why I'm here today to talk about some tips and tricks on how to take that perfect selfie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. Step one, make sure you look good. Take yourself out in the mirror before taking a selfie to make sure you don't have like smudged eyeliner or that random piece of hair sticking up. The worst feeling is when you have the most perfect picture. It's like on T, your lips are on T, your eyes are on T, your hands are on T, but you have the most awkward piece of hair sticking up in your selfie. Step two, get good lighting. This is the struggles of taking a selfie is the lighting. Um, the lighting is always something really difficult and something that can win or lose the picture because if you have like weird lighting, it can make everything look awkward. Whether you look your best and you have horrible lighting, this selfie is not turning out. Also, a quick tip, they get the perfect lighting, you can take a lampshade off of a light, it like gives you this illusion to your face, which is completely amazing. If you don't feel like going through all this trouble to get that completely amazing illusion on your face, my favorite thing to use during the day is sunlight. It's the best tool while taking a selfie. Hardcore sun is my favorite. What else describes a perfect selfie than a beautiful eye color? Also, I love the dark look selfies for friends. I normally send these like, oh yeah, on like Snapchat or something random. A dark looking selfie is so funny. It's like my favorite one to send to like friends and stuff because it like makes you look sexy and stuff. Like the dark is like my best friend when I don't look good but I want to take a selfie. Step three, check out your surroundings. The worst feeling is when you get that selfie and you're taking a selfie and you're ready to post it and you're like, oh shoot. The toilet seat is up. Girl, nobody wants to see your toilet seat up. So put that, put that down. My favorite is outside because it's just so beautiful. And plus you get that amazing sunlight. So my favorite is outdoor selfies. And if I'm not outdoors and I don't have outdoors near me, I normally like a blank wall because you don't want your viewers distracted from the background in your selfie. Step four, get the right angle. There's so many different angles to choose from. There's the upper selfie. There's the angled selfie. There's the side selfie. There's the upside down selfie. There's the lower selfie. And there's the straight on self. My favorite is the side angle and I normally do it on the one particular side because I broke my nose a long time ago and if I take a straight on selfie, my nose will look completely crooked and it looks really big. So my favorite is the side selfie because I take it on the side that my nose looks smaller. So just try this one out. This is all up to you. This is all preference, but getting the right angle really helps. And sometimes I like the upper selfie too because the upper selfie always makes you look good in the dark. The upper selfie in the dark is a really good sexy selfie. Step five, be still. Don't wobble around while you're taking a selfie. Otherwise, the picture's gonna be blurred. Step six, be confident. When you're taking a selfie, the best way is just to be yourself when you're taking a selfie. Nobody wants a picture when you're trying to be someone else while taking it. Just be confident, be yourself, be the crazy you that you are because you know that when I'm trying, when I'm myself and I'm being myself and I'm taking a selfie is when the selfie looks its best. Step seven. Once you got the best selfie out of all the selfies you took, it's okay to take multiple selfies. I have so many selfies. So many selfies, so many selfies. And no, I'm not conceited. I don't think I'm the Taj Mahal. I don't think I'm really the sh I just think it's fun to take pictures. I've always been a picture taker. I've always been like, oh, let me take a picture of myself. Once you've got the perfect selfie, what you need now is editing. Editing will make the best selfie turn into the perfect selfie, which will turn into the fabulous selfie that you were looking for. A lot of different editing apps that I use. My favorite one has been Photo Studio. And then also my favorite is um, just the Pic Collage. I really like that one too. And that like makes the white border around it like that, which is really cool. Or Wittagram, I really like that app too. I have like the Wittagram. When I'm on like the actual iPhone like app, 
I, you literally just press this button right up here, press these little three dots, and like literally takes you to all these filters that like make your eyes look amazing. Also, my favorite thing is this Chiro Dan board. It's really cool because I take selfies outside. That's my favorite way to take selfies is outside and by the sunlight. But you know, when you're taking selfies all the time, your phone tends to run out of juice really easily. Trust me, my phone has run out of juice. My mom's like, how did your phone run out of juice? I'm like, mm, can you sell these? But this, I haven't been having it lately because I have this really cool thing that's called Chiro Power Plus Dan Board version and it's a mini thing. It's This one's the mini. There's also a larger one, but I carry around the mini one because it's easier to put in my purse. All you do is literally meet the, your cord that charges your iPhone. And what you do is you just take this cord and plug it in. You can see that it's charging. It's really cool because then you can take as many selfies as you want and your phone is charging instantly with this little bad boy which is so cool because when I go out sometimes my phone runs out of juice so much and I just don't have a place to charge my phone and one time I had to randomly sit at like Whole Foods in the middle of the store to charge my phone it was really awkward but this I haven't been having to do it because my phone can just literally charge while it's in my purse because I have this amazing little device so I'll post a link down below on where you can get this bad boy it's really great when you're trying to take that perfect self because your phone won't run out of juice because you'll have this. And that concludes my video on how to take a perfect selfie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Because I upload new videos every single Saturday like these. And also other random videos that you don't want to miss. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, be sure to click and tweet it. And share it with your friends. Tweet out this video. I will follow you. And also, if you tweet out your favorite. If you tweet out or Instagram out your, fav your perfect selfie. I will follow you on Instagram, so just mention me and I'll follow you on Instagram because I know you have the perfect selfie to draw in you. So be sure to post your perfect selfie on Instagram and mention me in it. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next. Hope that everyone has a wonderful, great night, evening, wherever you guys are. And I love you guys millions. I'm gonna go right ahead and take a selfie because I think I look good. Just kidding. I'm not that conceited. I don't think I look good right now. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. I'm really weird. See you guys on Saturday. Bye. It usually means friendship or it can spark love between you and me.